What's going on everyone? A lot of you have been complaining that I haven't been making videos with my new uh, yellow 911 Carrera T, but I've got to be honest, I've been really enjoying it and just driving it, driving really the heck out of it. I kind of wanted to take the time and, and really get to know the car and, and really enjoy it without making any videos. But now the time has come for me to give it its first wash and obviously wanted to take you on this journey with me. And I've got to say, the car definitely needs a wash because it is still carrying the same salt uh, that it had on it when I first picked it up uh, almost two weeks ago. You see, and don't worry, the car is PPF, so I can do this. See, but look how dirty this is. Look how dirty this is. There's a nice, bright, speed yellow underneath, uh, but it's looking quite, uh, quite dusty. The, the lip is dusty. Uh, so it definitely, definitely needs a good wash. These wheels, being black wheels, uh, show a lot of brake dust. So I don't know what we're going to have to do about that. Um, eventually down the road. I'm not going to lie. I want to upgrade to uh, carbon, carbon ceramic brakes that were an option on this car. One of the biggest motivators will be the fact that they're yellow. So they're going to match the yellow exterior of the car. And then uh, check this out. Uh, so PPF in the front. There's also that PPF strip on the side. The only thing I don't like is the car has this PPF on this door jam here, or on the, the, the corner rather. So I'm gonna see if I can give it a nice wash and eventually maybe my detailer can, uh, can remove it. And of course in the back, the back with this uh, massive wheel, 305 width in the back, 305. So it's a massive, massive wheel. Also shows a lot of brake dust. Also inside you can see there's a lot of salt caked in everywhere from the drive that I had. And uh, speaking of salt, there's also salt underneath the car. So check this out. This is the uh, catalytic converter that obviously we're gonna be replacing. I'm not gonna lie, I already have one on order. We're gonna be putting Spark Cats in here as a first modification on the car um, in chase, chasing the perfect exhaust note. Uh, so we're gonna be doing that soon. Yeah, look at all the salt on the, uh, on the tailpipes. So this is very, very salty, very, very dirty, uh, but we've got my power washer set up. So we got uh, this thing here uh, that we're gonna use today and uh, hopefully get most of the salt out. I'm going on vacation for a week. So the car is actually gonna sit for a week or so without me driving it. Check out the difference. So this is some of the salt from the trip. Once I power wash it, Actually, it doesn't come off that easily. We're gonna let it sit for a few minutes and then get started with washing. While it's dripping, we're gonna wash these wheels. And I've gotta say, as I mentioned earlier, the wheels are beautiful, but because of the fact that they're black, they show so much brake dust. By the way, get yourself one of these. These brushes are awesome. And don't forget to brush this. Oh, and also ordered lowering springs. And spacers. And in the back also, we've got these massive tires, as I mentioned, 305. Yeah, but they're almost done. So I can't wait to replace them. Uh, these wheels are pretty much the same wheels that I have on the Cayman, except a different offset. Uh, they are okay to clean, except these crevices here. There's a lot of brake dust and dirt that accumulates in there. By the way, I cannot wait to wash this car. Check this out. Look how much cleaner this is. Now for the actual car washing part. By the way, this video is not to talk about the car's features. I'm gonna do a separate video because I didn't do a good job really introducing it when I picked it up. There was just too much rain, but I wanna talk about how special this car is, what makes it so special, uh, why I picked it, um, and, and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna do a separate video on that. Uh, I just really wanna enjoy with you today my first wash. So check this out. This is the first time I'm touching this car and it's always a sort of a, a very personal experience. You get to touch the car, you, you sort of get to feel all the different crevices. One of the things I'm noticing right away, it feels in size, 
very similar to the Cayman, which, which it should, because I think wheelbases are pretty much identical to the Cayman. The only thing is uh, the Cayman has an engine in the middle versus this has an engine in the front, but it's amazing how similar in size to Cayman they are. As I'm washing it, as I, and as I was sort of giving it a rinse, I had a chance to look at the car in detail, inspect for any damages, and I've got to say, I haven't seen any. This definitely feels like a brand new car, aside from the tires. The tires feel like, uh, uh, like tires on a car that's, uh, uh, that's been used, not abused, used. Uh, but everything else just feels really, really uh, new uh, about this car. I don't see any scratches at all. Washing the front really feels special. I mean, just touching the front of a 911 feels, feels special, and I think I think it's such a good looking car, especially with this color combination. I mean, I feel super, super happy with my purchase. Check out the difference. This is the washed part and this is the dirty part. See, it's like night and day. Two things I am noticing is, well, I'm remembering how short of a car it is. It's such a tiny car that washing a car like this takes very little time and second thing I'm noticing is that the PPF here on the side might need to be replaced because I'm having a hard time washing off the dirt so we might have to reuse that PPF or we might have to replace that PPF at some point and now we get to rinse it and see how beautiful this color really is <laughs> What do you think? Here, let's give it a quick walk around. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, we gotta, we gotta rinse the front. Uh, let's see. There are some little black tar pieces on this PPF that I'm gonna have to uh, clean with a, with a tar remover. Uh, but for the most part, this should be, uh, this should be okay. Uh, let me show you the uh, PPF piece that I noticed in the back. So this piece, see this is all little pebbles on top of this PPF. Uh, so I'm gonna have Frankie, my detailer, uh, probably remove it, or maybe I'm just gonna bring it to a shop so they can uh, they can replace it. Uh, I could potentially tackle it myself. I did that on the Tesla. You can actually watch that video. Uh, I'm gonna link it for you. I did it on the Tesla. Oh, look at this. I missed some spots. Uh, so it should be uh, so it should be pretty straightforward. Removing it might be tricky. Uh, so I might have to re I have to use the hot water trick that we've all seen in numerous YouTube videos. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is her. Uh, we're gonna clean the inside next, but we're gonna do the j door jams. See, we're gonna clean this. We're not gonna vacuum it, and it does need a good vacuum. You see, there's a bit of uh, stuff here. Uh, this is actually rubbing. This is rubbing from this fix that failed. So we're gonna have to clean this, not a big deal. Uh, the carpets are pretty, pretty clean-ish. And uh, check this out, again, I'm gonna do a video on this later, but I removed the seat bottoms the other day because I had to bring my son somewhere. Uh, so removing the seat bottom gives you a lot more room for the baby seat. I might remove the seat backs just so I can uh, slide the seat back a little more. Uh, but yeah, this is how I plan on moving my kids. And then I did order a piece that covers uh, this section here. So none of it will be, uh, will be exposed. But for the next few years, uh, that's how we're going to be transporting our kids. Uh, so now let's open up all the compartments. Before we open up the hood, let's put the wipers down like this out yeah see all of this we'll have to uh, we'll have to wipe and then I also open up the engine compartment if you haven't seen what an engine compartment looks like on a 911 this is what it looks like so not much to see here everything gets done from the bottom and again you'll be able to see how mint this car is look how beautiful these seats are I'm gonna go over all the options on this car in the, in the next video. And then, and, and as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna tell you why it's so special, but this should give you an idea of this car's specialness. Oh yes. I kind of jumped the gun here. I wanna wipe it on the outside first, and then, then we're gonna get to the door jams. I've got these cool towels. Usually on the Cayman, I can dry the whole Cayman with this towel. I'm gonna link it for you in the description of this video. Check it out, I wasn't kidding. One towel 
got this job done. Amazing. Get yourself one of these. And this is it. This is what I clean. Uh, all right, there's some tar over there. We're gonna remove it with a tar remover. But essentially, this is what a clean-ish 991.2 Carrera T looks like. Again, I'm super, super happy. Washing this car was quite the experience, and I'm glad I got to experience it uh, with you. Uh, again, I'm gonna do a thorough video of all the options and my decisions and, and all of that. Uh, just, just, in, just give me some time to get back from vacation. Headlights are amazing. These are the, uh, the uh, upgraded LED headlamps. I'm gonna talk about them uh, when I make the video. Just a really, really cool looking car. Uh, this little plaque I got from my buddy Jeff. Jeff is the one who sort of influenced me to get the, not only a 911, but also 911T. If you recall, if you follow the channel, I drove his yellow Carrera T and I got hooked. And ever since then, I've been searching for one and I'm glad I found this. But now I've got to get back to work. I'm not even going to drive the car because the roads are wet. It would defeat the purpose of me washing the car. It's going to sit in the garage for a week while I go on my snowboarding trip to Colorado. Any of you guys are out there, maybe we'll bump into each other. Uh, but when I get back, it's going to be nice coming back to a nice clean car. And, uh, and that's when the fun starts. Hopefully my, my parts will start coming in by then uh, so we can have uh, even a lot more fun. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video wasn't too boring, but I wanted to experience this washing experience with you and, uh, and I'm glad I did. So thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.